You guys, welcome back. The morning air is crisp with the smell of fresh rain, which has me craving bun sao, a savory pancake made of a coconut turmeric batter filled with pork, shrimp, and bean sprouts, served with incredibly fragrant herbs and a sweet fish sauce, each bite full of textures and flavor explosion. Let's get started. Ban sao is eaten with a lot of herbs. That's what makes this dish so refreshing. These are the herbs that I like to eat it with. together with green mango and cucumber. It's gonna add interesting textures, crisp freshness and tartness to each bite. Shredding them like this is tasty. We'll be using the bean sprouts to fill the bun cell later. This sweet fish sauce goes great with everything and is iconic to Vietnamese food. Mince the lower white portions and chop the upper green portions of the scallion. We'll be utilizing them separately. This shrimp has been peeled, deveined, and halved. It's gonna taste great as a filling. 
To prepare the shrimp, ingle some oil, white portion of the scallion, garlic, shrimp, fish sauce, sugar, and black pepper. Traditionally, this dish uses pork belly, but in neighboring countries, it's also made with ground pork, so I'm using both. We'll prepare it the same way as the shrimp. You can also use chicken, sausages, mushroom, and plant-based sausages as well. Bansel batter is loose and watery. The vibrant color comes from turmeric. Seltzer water will help give crispiness to the pancake. You can also use your favorite beer for cooking as a substitute. The amount of batter you'll use depends on the size of your pan. But ultimately, you'll want a thin layer like this. Try to add some batter on the walls of your pan for a crispy edge. And for some filling, how much you add is up to you. Cover with the lid for a minute or so. It doesn't take long to cook. Let it cook for another minute without the lid. Fold it over and plate it up. You can always patch up any large holes with more batter, just like this.
Aluminum foil between each pancake helps them not to stick to each other. Here we have it, ban seo. With each bite, you get the coconutty, crisp pancake, savory filling, and crisp of the bean sprouts, a mouthful of fragrant herbs, freshness, tartness, aromatic flavors, and followed by the sweet, savory tang, nutty sauce. It's so refreshing. You can also cut the bansel into pieces into a salad, tossing it with the toppings and sauce. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you all in the next video. Be safe everyone.